All right, so here is five exercises to do to work your inner thigh. So it's hard when you don't have a gym that has like the abductor and abductor machine where you either are coming out or you're coming in like the machine that you sit on. That's the, one of the best machines and one of the machines that is like asked and requested a lot of times. But if you're home or your gym doesn't have it, it's kind of hard to work that inner thigh. A lot easier to work the outer thigh but it's hard to work that inner thigh. But here is five exercises you can do at home using a stability ball, a towel, and some bands to help you work that inner thigh. So first exercise, you will need a stability ball, and you can use, this one's really big. I don't know the size of this one, but this thing is huge. So I would recommend one that's smaller than this one, and you can even go on like the nine inch one. I really like that one because you can use it for some other things as well. And um, you can't really do, you can't sit on it though. So trying to find which one fits you best and what you're gonna use it for. Um, but this one is huge, but we're gonna use it today because I don't have another one. So first off is ball squeezes. So what you're gonna do with your ball, and you'll understand why this one is huge and hard to do, but you're going to sit on a bench or a chair or whatever you're using. You're gonna put the ball between your legs. And I don't know if I can even feel it with this one. Okay, so the ball's between your legs and I want you to squeeze. So you're gonna squeeze the ball and then relax. So you're gonna do like, you're gonna hold it for a count of 20. 20 to 30 seconds. You're gonna hold, squeezing the whole time. So the tension, and I have to hold the ball. Typically you won't have to hold the ball, but the ball is so big I have to actually hold it with my hands. But I'm squeezing still with my legs. So roughly 20 to 30 second hold of squeezing. And then after you do that 20 to 30 seconds, I want you to do 10 squeezes. Okay, so 20 to 30 second hold, 10 squeezes. Doing both of those variations of the hold and then the reps really helps work that inner thigh. You'll feel it burning the whole time. So next up is a side lunge with an inner thigh lift. So with that, what I mean is you're gonna pick whichever leg you wanna work first, but you're gonna step like a side lunge. So you're actually working this, your right leg, but then when you come up, I want you to kick, kick out that way. Step, so this side, and then this one, so that kick. All right, back at it, my camera shut off, but back to these, so here, and then you're gonna kick that way. And then you'll switch, so step, kick, step, step, kick. You're gonna do roughly 10 reps of those on each leg. Next is like the main popular exercise that you can do to help. Right, my camera keeps shutting off, but the next one, like I was saying, that you can do that's a basic, that a lot of people use is the plie squat. And you can use weight to help um, work it a little bit more, but you're in that squat position, but you're wide stance. And the more you point your toes out, the more you're gonna work that inner thigh. So wider stance, and but point the toes, out as far as you can, and then you're gonna squat down. Really working that inner thigh. Like I said, you can hold a weight in front to help really work it as well. But you're gonna do 15 of those. The next is a lying leg lift, and you can use a band. You can grab a band. So I like using the small bands. Okay, so this band a lot of times are used for glute exercises and whatnot, different resistance. But this is a lying lift, leg lift. So you're gonna put the band between your leg, or between, or on each leg, but you're gonna put it right below your knee, okay? So it's right below my knees. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cross, I'm gonna work my right inner thigh. I'm gonna lay this way. So I'm gonna cross my left leg over top, and then I'm gonna kick. Try to lift that leg. And if I wanna add more tension, I'm gonna scoot my left leg forward a little bit more. And then I'm kicking, lifting that right leg up to work that inner thigh. Then I'll switch, so we'll roll over this leg. Right leg's gonna go over top. So we're here, and then we're lifting that left leg up. So you can do 20 to 25 reps of these. And then you can also 
to do more of the kicks with the band if you have the band. So doing that, that inner kick instead of this outer kick, of course works more of the outside of your hip, right? So this one you want to kick this way. So I always like to cross my legs because I want to try to add tension to it and then I'm going to kick this way. Now if you have a longer band you can attach it to something and attach it to your leg as well and kick. Once again, you can do like 20 to 25 reps of those. That's using the band. The last one that we're gonna do, if you have um, hardwood floors or a slippery floor, you, won't, you can use it with just your socks on. Or if you wanna put a towel down, you can put a towel down. It should work. So it's like a side lunge pretty much, but I'm going to slide that leg from here and then when I pull it back up, that pull really gets that inner thigh. So down, pull. And you can even hold on to something so you're really isolating. So here, so I can go down farther. And then that pull back up gets that inner thigh. Stretching it and then bringing it up is working it, strengthening it. So I try to do 10 to 15 of those. But you can do them on the floor which is socks on too. Really good. I think that was four, but I'm gonna show you one more if you have a weight plate. So, if you have some sort of weight plate, this is a 10 pound weight plate, kind of just like the, the towel, but we're gonna use a weight plate. And instead of sliding, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kick it across, right? So then I'll come this way, kick it across. So by sliding that weight, once again, it's that leg lift, inner leg lift, but we're adding weight to it, right? And we're pushing 10 pounds with it. So that's just another one that you can do if you have um, any type of weight plate that slides easily on your floor, you can use that exercise. And you can do about 20 of those kicks on each leg. And you can do this for three to four rounds. Um, see how adding all these together really gets the, the inner thigh burning and working. So including all these together, making like a big circuit uh, and doing them how often that you want, but like every other day, or maybe just do one day of these, two days of these a week, um, really will help build that inner thigh and help tone it up and build that muscle um, in your inner thigh. Uh, but yeah, that's working. That's like five, six exercises, seven exercises you can do to include into your workout program to work your inner thigh.